All right, so I've already had a busy day today. Today's Thursday, guys, and I got three tractors on my trailer, three stops, and I'm on my last stop here, and then I'll be picking up my weekend load. Not to mention, I gotta take my monthly shower today. Definitely uh, in need of a shower. I'm joking about the monthly thing, though. Hey, little tip, though, for some of you guys out there. You get uh, free shower credit every time you fill up 50 gallons of fuel. So there she is right there. Last tractor. Well guys, needless to say, I wasn't able to take a shower last night. Didn't get done until about 8 o'clock at night and I wasn't going to wrestle with all the other people. And also, I knew I had to uh, get loaded up here and do a tarp job first thing in the morning. Speaking of a tarp job, what I got behind me here is uh, 45,000 pounds of, it looks like aluminum sheets to me, but in the load notes they call, they're calling it decking. It's going to uh, Nebraska, Elkhorn, Nebraska. It's only about, uh, I want to say, 700 miles away, 680, something like that. So I uh, will be able to slide in a 34 and edit this video here for you guys. I haven't had a 34 in three weeks now. I've been running on recaps. So looking forward to that as well. But uh, yeah, if you see, I uh, over-secured it. Well, I wouldn't say over security, but I put enough securement on. It's the load note says it's 45,000 pounds. I don't see it being 45,000 pounds, but I secured it for that. So I got a tarp it. This load's gonna shred the hell out of my tarps, guys. You see right back here, I'm gonna have my tarp obviously overlapping that, and that's where it's just gonna start eating that shit up like butter. So the plan for today, guys, is gonna be for me to get this secured, get a shower and uh, try to down at least 400 miles. That way tomorrow, all I gotta do is about 250, 300 miles, and then I can shut down for the weekend and drop this thing first thing in the morning. So with that said, let me go ahead and get this secured, throw those edge protectors on there, wrap it up with uh, some tarps, and get the hell out of here. All right guys, so here she is. Now my best tarp job, but uh, keep in mind, I haven't been tarping a lot over here. We only tarp about, shoot, I want to say like 10, 15% of our loads. Look right there though, already got a hole in my tarp with this load. Walk up in the life. Yeah, I'm really am. Talking my shit like. I'm really him, hold up. Look, walking this bitch like. Hey. Yeah, I'm really him. Talking my shit like. Hey. I'm really him, don't believe me, come and see me Got three wishes from my genie, now I'm on your local TV Y'all on drug up, give me, say she wanna come and see me When I'm in a local city, I'm like, pause though Please step aside so they can see me And I walk up in this light Yeah, I'm really him Talking my shit light I'm really him, oh God Walk up in this light Yeah, I'm really him Talking my shit like I'm really him, I'm oh the realest from my city That's on my knee, that's on Kiwi, that's on mamas Nick, don't believe me, come and see me I been dodging, dodging, dodging all the fades All these niggas working broke, but I been getting paid All that, all that know me from the street Flexing, flexing for what feature, that's like every other week Talk, talk, talk behind
behind my back, I kick my feet up, have a seat, cause at the end of the day, all So I got all showered up finally, feeling a lot better, a lot better, We're ready to run these miles, guys. Uh, another thing I want to try to do today, if I can, is find a truck, uh, a truck wash, a blue beacon or something like that. We do get free truck wash at the blue beacon, just haven't had time to swing in there. But I'd like to swing in there, if not today, we'll definitely do that tomorrow. So there's that one hole right there. But uh, so far, so good. A little rusty, like I said, with the tarpon, but it looks like it's holding together pretty good, guys. Check out the back. God, I still, after all these years, I still just can't get these backs down. Although this was different, different lengths, you know what I mean? So like the left side is longer than the right side over here. Well, whatever, it'll work, it'll get the job done. And with me pulling it this way, it's not, it's not tight up because you see up here, I'm worried about that, too much pressure on that, that's gonna start ripping. Looks like it's already in the process. I'm sure as we go down the road more, it's gonna, we're gonna have some more issues. But yeah, everything looks good. All right guys, change of plan. Uh, my driver's side door, it keeps, it won't unlock, it stays locked. So I gotta bring my key with me every time I leave the truck. And also the door closes itself, it doesn't stay open. So I've already, I've already had it lock me out. I had to crawl through my little cubby hole where I put my equipment on the side in order to get back to my truck. So I need to get that fixed. And I'm right around the corner from the corner terminal, uh, ATS's terminal here. So I'm gonna stop in over here, do a 34, and then uh, get that done. And I also got a message saying that the truck needs to be in. So we're gonna get those things banged out um, and then finish the load and do some more drive time. So In three quarters of a mile, turn right on US 20. Another good thing about coming over here is I'll be able to uh, get some of my laundry done for free. Not sure if they have a laundry facility here. I was only here once. If you come over to ATS on, as a company driver, this is where you'll be doing your orientation. In one half mile, if you start turn right on US 20, then take the first right. They send you to the uh, main HQ, which is up in St. Cloud. But yeah, hopefully they got a laundry facility here that I can use. And I forget what entrance. Oh, I'll turn the right right here. Good old ATS.
right, guys, it's uh, six in the morning right now, Sunday morning. I got that, I still got 500 miles to go to uh, get to the destination, so I should have no problem uh, getting there at first thing in the morning, tomorrow morning. My trailer is right over there, uh, so I gotta get under that and head on over to the TA, because unfortunately, my uh, coffee maker just took a crap on me this morning, so I need to get a coffee. I'm pretty grumpy right now, but yeah, that's the plan. I did my 34 over to the terminal. I was able to get some laundry done, but I never got called into the shop for uh, any of those repairs. So that's something I'm gonna have to do out here on the road. You know, it was definitely a much needed break. I'm ready to get get this week started. They already got a pre-plan for my load. Uh, it looks like I'm gonna be picking up after I drop this off in uh, Iowa and heading on over to Louisiana. So that's about uh, 13, 1400 miles empty and loaded. So that'll be a Thursday drop. That's a good, good run. And uh, we'll see what we get for the weekend run. Let's check on our tarps here and uh, see how those are holding up. So it looks like it's still holding up pretty good. Still got just that one tear. It hasn't gotten any worse. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Loads holding together pretty good. No complaints there. Back's looking pretty good. Yeah. So, I thought it was going to shred my tarps, but it uh, looks like because I pulled in that direction, you know, away from it, I wish I had some pads. Yeah, I just don't have the storage in my truck for it. And uh, yeah, we got a new little hole right up over there as well. So, no big deal. I'll do some patching. Ooh. It is cold out there, guys. Cold. I think it's like 27 degrees today over here. Yeah, I'm in Illinois right now. So, yeah, it's it's just cold out. Beautiful day, though. So, the plan still is to try to get this truck washed. So, uh, as soon as I'm done talking to you guys, I'm going to go ahead and find me a blue beacon on my route. Hopefully, there is one. Keep your fingers crossed for me, guys. Uh, you know, I've been trying to get this truck in here. It's just... I can never find a blue beacon when I have time to get the truck wash, uh, you know? It's it's getting kind of ridiculous here. So, that's the plan. I got 385 miles left to go to, uh, to get to the final here. And I plan on shutting down about 50 miles short of that. So, let's call it 335. Alright, so let's go ahead and hit the road, guys. Yeah. 